10 o'clock. Hello, everybody. Nice Hello. to see you. Hello. We start with our first talk. This is Paolo. Uh, I know you a very long time. Yeah. And I'm happy mm -hmm. to hear your talk. So let's start with the first talk here. Thank you. So I'm Paolo. I'm, I'm going to talk. Uh, this talk, the, t the title is How Collaborate CISAD Mean Use Debian. So this is, these are my emails um, from Collaborate from Debian. So I'm, I'm, I'm a Debian developer from Brazil. Uh, at Collabora, I have, been, I have been working as a system administration engineer. Uh, basically, I work at, in the sysadmin team. And I've been free software enthusiast for a long time, since 2000. And I like to organize free software events in Brazil. And uh, I, I helped to organize DebConf in 2019 in Brazil, in 2019. So Collabora, uh, Collabora is one of the sponsors here in DebConf 2022. And, uh, for over 17 years, Collabora, Collabora has, has worked with free software and the open source softwares, developing for a, uh, a, lot, of, a lot of customers. And uh, so basically, we are consulting for companies that you want to, 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 to develop some free or open source software. And soft, uh, open source software is, is the core of the company as a software, software development. These are some of the open source projects that Collabora uh, contribute, contributes to them with code. Um, the, in the, in, here in the middle, there is Debian. That is the main, my main talk here. Um, well, Collabora has a long time, has a long uh, relationship with, with Debian as I can talk here. And the Collabora is listed as one of the consulted, Debian consulted in the website, at the website, Debian website. And uh, many of employees or ex-employees helped Debian in some way. So this is, this as Debian developers or maintainers of packages. So uh, because of that, uh, Collabora, has a, a unique relationship with Debian and a lot of projects, but special, a lot of open source projects, but especially with Debian. And why Debian? Why Collabora uses Debian? Well, as you know, um, the op operational system developed by Debian is considered by Collabora one of the most open and democratic, democratic software. So it's very good to the company, and uh, I'm sure that there are a lot of other companies around the world that use Debian for the same same kind, same reason. Um, and if for, as we know, f for a long time, more than 20 years, De Debian is developing some very nice software and a very nice oper oper operational system. And uh, we use the OBS, Open Build Service, to build the package internally, too, as I will talk later about that. Today, uh, nowadays, we have eight Debian developers and one Debian maintainer. And some, some, some folks there are working to be, uh, Debian, to, to be Debian maintainer and in, on the future to be Debian developers. We, we had some... Uh, Debian developers working there for a long time. So I'm not sure how many Debian developers already worked in Collabora before, but I know that today the numbers are, are this, eight Debian developers and one Debian maintainer as the employees or consultants. Um, we have a channel in YouTube, youtube.com slash Collabora. And there you can see some talks, a lot, of, a lot of talks, and some of them related to Debian, like the employees talking about something, so, some software related to Debian in Collabora. Uh, so if you access this, the channel, you will, you will be able to see a lot of talks 
related to Debian at Collabora. So this is admin team today. We are in five, five members. Stelios is the manager, and we are we are in some countries, some countries like Stelios is in Cyphers, Douglas and Geoffrey are in England. Um, me, I in Brazil, and Tio is in Cyphers too. We have two offices, one in Cambridge and one in Montreal. So my work there, uh, uh, besides the, the sysadmin tasks, I work, I help, I help the folks in Montreal office because, because I'm in Brazil, I'm, I'm in the same time zone from Canada, especially from Montreal. So basically, uh, when the folks here in Europe is going to sleep, I'm continuous working there, in the, uh, especially to help the, the, the folks on Montreal, at, Mo, at the Montreal office. What we do there, um, well, um, basically the, the task for every sysadmin team, we create accounts for new employees or for external, external, external folks that are, are, are going to work with Collabora. So we have to create accounts in, uh, like for employees like uh, shell accounts, our systems, and uh, we have to do this, this very basically task. Um, we also, we, we work in buy, set up, and send laptops to, to our users, because our, our employees, our users, our, our consultants, they use Collabora's laptops, so we have to prepare the machine and send to them. Especially non-technical non people, we have to deal with uh, set up the machines and help them how to use Linux, uh, some of them for the first time. Uh, we're supporting users, we are working supporting users. Like, as I said before, my main goal there is support users from Canada because my time zone. Um, the, um, we work in ex also uh, manage VMs for the other teams, like we have developer team, production team, production team. So yeah, we have to create, we have to change, or we have to to delete some VMs, and they ask it for us, and we we do we manage these VMs for them. Um, sure, we keep the infrastructure running with security and efficiency. It's something very very normal for any sysadmin team. And uh, we, we also, we, we are, we, we usually work in searching and studying new softwares and tools that we can implement them uh, inside the company. Sure, uh, free and open source tools and softwares to use uh, in the company. Um, As CISAD means, uh, we, use, we use Debian on user laptops, it's default uh, for the, the users, uh, use Debian. And the, it's the, in the, in the, in the infrastructure, we use Debian uh, basically in almost all machines. Uh, no, techno, no technical stuff, as I said before, we need to prepare laptops, laptops for them and then send it to them. Uh, so you have a, a default setup uh, running Debian stable, um, and some softwares like Gnome, Collabora Office, Collabora Office. That is, it's a, a, a version of Next uh, LibreOffice that we we do some some work to work to Collabora Office work, works uh, online. So we prepare the, the client for the, this, these machines. Next, the cloud desktop, master modes, desktop, this is for communication, and Firefox, Chrome, and Chromium. So this is, sure, there are a lot of softwares, but I, I'm, I'm going to quote some of them just to have an, uh, one idea what, what kind of software we use there. And non-technical stuff, it's, it's always, um, uh, it, it, it's always nice work of work of the, with them because the most of them don't know how to use Linux. They come from 
uh, Windows uh, US e Windows users. So now we are prepared some videos to do some training on video to because they can watch and they, and they learn how to use. But it's nice. It's nice to work with non-technical stuff because we can see how someone that uh, usually don't work with Linux. It's people that are working with Linux for the first time. They they sometimes they they are af they have a little afraid to use Linux, but then. Uh, Few weeks later, few days later, they they love how uh, how Linux is stable and uh, its security. Um, so the non-technical stuff. We have people that learn how to use terminal, for instance, very quickly. Uh, they ah, it's, I, I thought Linux was. Some of them say say to us. I thought uh, using Linux was very difficult, especially to use Terminal, because I heard, I heard about using Terminal, it's difficult, but now I'm seeing that it's, it's easy, it's nice, it's different, it's, it's challenging to use Linux, and we are, happy, we are always happy for, for, for them, because they are learning something new, and we are helping them to learn it. Um, Technical people, they are allowed to use any, 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 any distro they want to use. Most of them, I, I, asked, I asked to them um, uh, once about what distros they are using, and most of them use Debian. It's, it's not, uh, we, not, we don't demand that they use Debian, but they, they choose to use Debian. So it's nice to, to us too. Um, or at least some Debian-based uh, system like Ubuntu and the other distros based on Debian. Uh, our infra infrastructure, we have almost 100 machines, and uh, most of them, like, as I said before, they are used Debian, except for three machines, one running CentOS, another running um, OpenSUSE, another with Windows. So the others are running, the other are running Debian 9, 10, or 11. We are working to migrate, especially the, the machines with Debian 9, but we have some of them there. Um, especially because we, we have used the um, Chef for a long time, in uh, our infrastructure is, is built uh, using Chef, but Chef is no longer maintained in Debian because some trademark, trademark issue. I, I put the link here if you are curious about to know what's going on. So we wanted to move to another, another tool and uh, what happened with Chef in Debian motivated us to, to work faster to move to another, another solution. And this solution is it's Ansible. So we are, we are working to migrate our infrastructure to use Ansible. So now uh, we have um, Jeff that is working, especially with, to migrate the cookbooks uh, from Chef to the solution to using Ansible. Uh, some of them is this, I listed here some softwares that uh, we, we hosted internally and in our machines. I, I listed some of them. And uh, these are some of the free softwares that you see that me use as, a, as tools, like Ansible, Chef, Docker, and everything else. And the other side, you see basically the same that some, a lot of machines like Apache, Bind, Docker, Adap, Mailman, and everything. So this is a very basic talk, just to have an idea what you are, we are doing there. And uh, so again, my, my email address email is here from phls at, col at collabora and at debian.org. My, web, my personal website, my Twitter, and Telegram, if you want to talk with me, um, that is it. Uh, and uh, sure, we are hiring, so 
I invite everybody to access this this link to see what what jobs we have there. If you are interested to work in Collabora as developer, consultant, and, and engineer, uh, some non-technical uh, stuff, and everything. We are we are always have work there. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paolo. Yes. Any questions? No questions? I have a question. Yeah, sure. Uh, the, the laptops, uh, how do you do backups? Or do the users have all their data on the laptops? Or are you using some uh, network, uh, um, network um, drives that are mounted so if the people are on a conference, so how do you, uh, because I'm also a sysadmin, mm -hmm. and if people are using laptops and have a lot of their home data on the laptops, I, I have no perfect solution how to do the backup. Mm -hmm. So how do you do the backup of the user data? Yeah, we have a, we have a backup solution that an employee can ask to use. We can create an account in in an external server, but the mainly we are using Nextcloud to keep the files. So we have a, we have a lot of shared shared folders using Nextcloud. And Nextcloud we have the, our internal server, and then we install the the client in each each. Each laptop uses, especially for non non technical uh, people, um, it's it's nice to use Nextcloud because it's similar with some proprietary solution that they already know. But sometimes we have one or another issue because um, sometimes someone deletes one folder and this folder is gone is gone for everybody. So we have to deal with that. We are we are. We are learning how to do the best work with Nextcloud inside the company internally because some, sometimes something happens, someone deletes a folder or a file and we need to recover it. So we are, we are working, as we can say, some policies to, to deal with it. a lot of people use Nextcloud together. But basically it's Nextcloud for, for the regular files and folders. So, and, and the people know that all important files should be synced to the next cloud. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, they shared. And we use Collabor Online too. It's, it's nice because uh, when they are working on some spreadsheet or some, some test file, we can use Collabor, Office, uh, Collabor Online, Office Online. And uh, this is a good solution to, to, to deal with, especially with specific files like spreadsheet or words or the test, to, test files. Any other question? Then, thank you much for your talk. Yeah. And have a nice day. Thank you.